Hello everyone. Welcome to another video for of Sir Matt. And for today's video, we're going to uh, know how to get implicit differentiation. So let's start. Okay, here we have okay so implicit differentiation let's try to define first what is implicit differentiation so implicit differentiation is the process of finding the derivative of a dependent variable with respect to an independent variable in an equation where the dependent variable is not isolated on one side so the process of implicit differentiation is used to find the derivative of equations not just functions because uh, if you try to look at our standard process of getting the derivatives uh, it's just functions the derivative of functions but how about equations so like equation of a circle equation of a parabola equation of ellipse and, hi and hyperbola and other equations that do not fall under the umbrella of functions so we have implicit differentiation so let's have some examples first so that we will understand how to get uh, the derivative or the implicit differentiation of an equation so let's say we have here find dy over dx or y prime uh, given 3x squared equals 4y cubed plus 2y so basically, we just need to understand what is the derivative operator here. So the derivative operator depends on what you are looking for. So in this scenario, we are looking for dy over dx. Hence, our derivative operator would be d, d over dx. So we apply the differentiation rules per term. So we have here uh, the derivative of 3x squared with respect to x equals the derivative of 4y cubed with respect to x plus the derivative of 2y with respect to x so we just get the derivative of this so derivative of 3x squared is 6x and then take note the derivative here or the change here is with respect to x and the variable inside is x so that's why we have here dx over dx and then for 4y cubed, we have 3 times 4, which is just 12, using power rule. And then subtract 1 to the exponent, so we have y squared. And the variable here is y, so that's why we have dy over dx. And lastly, we have 2y, so the derivative of 2y is simply 2. And then again, the variable here is y, so that's why we have dy over dx. So, we just need to simplify further. Uh, dx over dx is just 1. So, we cancel this one out. And then, okay, we factor out dy over dx because we are only looking for dy over dx. We need to isolate dy over dx. So, factoring out dy over dx will give us 12y squared plus 2. So since we are looking for dy over dx only, we are going to divide everything by 12y squared plus 2. Okay, so this will give us this. So we cancel out 12y squared plus 2. And hence we have this. So take note that the final answer should be in its simplest form. Uh, since 6x over 12y squared plus 2 have a common factor of 2 we can divide 2 in the numerator and the denominator so this will give us 3x all over 6y squared plus 1 and then using symmetric property of equality we can write it in this manner so just to formalize the answer uh, we put dy over dx at the left side of the equation so this is the final answer for example number 1
Okay? So, let's have number 2. Okay, so example number 2, again, we're looking for dy over dx or y prime given this. 2x squared equals ln of xy. Okay, so let's try. So applying the derivative operator with respect to x to each term. So we have the derivative of 2x squared with respect to x equals the derivative of ln of xy with respect to x. So the derivative of 2x squared is just 4x here. And then of course, the variable is x, so we have dx over dx. And then, we apply the derivatives of ln, natural log. So, the, the derivative of the natural log is 1 over whatever is in this parenthesis, the argument. So, that's why we have 1 over xy. And then, times the derivative of whatever is inside the argument. So, since this is xy, it's x times y, we use product rule. So, x would be our u, y would be our v. So, that's why we have x. So, this is our u. So, remember that formula u dv plus v du. So, x is u times the derivative of y. Derivative of y is just 1. And then again, since it's the derivative of y, so our change here is dy over dx plus uh, v, v is y times the derivative of u derivative of u is derivative of x so the derivative of x is 1 and again the variable is x so we have dx over dx okay, so again product rule so let's simplify further so we can cancel out this and this and then we will have something like this okay. so since we are looking for this dy over dx uh, we can actually distribute this to each term so this will give us uh, 1 over y because again uh, we have 1 over x y so x will be cancelled 1 over y dy over dx and then here in y y times 1 over x y y will be cancelled so we have 1 over x so since we need to isolate dy over dx we can actually transpose or use uh, addition prop property of equality for 1 over x so we have 4x minus 1 over x equals 1 over y dy over dx so to finalize we simply multiply y both sides so that we can cancel out y here so this will give us 4xy uh, minus y over x equals dy over dx and using the symmetric property of equality we can rewrite it in this manner okay so that's for number two number two is done uh, let's have number three okay, so let's have number three so for number three we have uh, 2x squared plus 1 equals cosine of 2x plus y so we have now trigonometric functions here so again we're still looking deep or dy over dx so our derivative operator would be d over dx <clears throat> so applying the derivative to each term we will have this i'm ah, sorry this should be one not zero okay, so uh, the derivative of one is just zero of course that's why it was put here zero. so we will get something like this so the derivative of 2x squared is 4x and then again the variable is x so we have dx over dx derivative of 1 is just 0 so we don't need to write that one and then we have the derivative of cosine of 2x plus y so the derivative of cosine is negative sine and then we just copy the angle and then we get the derivative of the angle so derivative of 2x is just 2 and again the variable is x so that's why we have the over dx over dx plus the derivative of y which is just 1 then again the variable is y so we have dy over dx simplifying this further we can cancel out this and yeah this also so we will get something like this so take note we are looking for dy over dx so to get dy over dx we need to distribute this first okay, just distribute this first okay so 
we will get something like this if we distribute this so we have negative 2 sine of 2x plus y minus 2 sine of 2x plus y dy over dx and then we can transpose this to the other side so that we can slowly isolate dy over dx Another way is instead of transferring this, we can actually transfer this and then for x to the other side. So we will get something like this. Okay, so we're almost there. We just need to divide everything by 2 sine of 2x plus y. And then we simplify further since there is a common factor of 2 the numerator and the denominator we just divide everything by 2 so that's why for the final answer uh, we have uh, of course we can factor out the negative here in the numerator so write the negative here so our numerator becomes positive so dividing 2 will give us sine of 2x plus y here also will give us 2x and here's in the denominator will give us sine of 2x plus y so that's the final answer for number 3 Okay, so let's have number 4 Okay, number 4 okay, So this is quite uh, long <laughs> uh, Since we have a chain rule here and product rule So let's just try So again, apply the derivative operator Since it's dy over dx So we have d over dx and derivative of y squared is of course 2y then for here we will use chain rule so we bring down 2 first and then copy this and then subtract 1 in the exponent and then get the derivative of the inner function so take note for the inner function we have product rule here in x squared and y uh, we just write 2 first because it's just a numerical coefficient so applying product rule so we have u is our x squared, then dv is y. So derivative of y is 1, and then again the variable is y, so we have dy over dx. Plus v du, so v is y, du, so we have x squared here, so the derivative of x squared is 2x. And then again the, the variable is dx over dx, uh, x, so dx over dx. So that will be for the first term then of course this one here the derivative is just zero then we simplify so just rewrite everything and then cancel out the x over the x okay and then we try to distribute what we can distribute so that we can isolate dy over dx so let's distribute first two here and then we use uh, the foil method so first outer inner and last to solve for this binomial times binomial so this should give us something like this so first term is 8x to the power of 4y dy over dx next would be outer so 8x cubed y squared and then we have inner so we have 4x squared dy over dx and then we have last so we have 4xy okay, now we can isolate this and this okay uh, to the other side so just transpose to the other side so that's why we have it here it becomes negative of course and then we can factor out dy over dx so factoring out dy over dx will give us this and obviously we can now isolate dy over dx by dividing everything by 2y minus 8x to the power of 4y minus 4x squared so we will have something like this if we divide both sides then again try to look at your answer if you can still simpl simplify further then simplify further so take note uh, the numerator and the denominator uh, has a common factor of 2 
So we can divide 2 in the numerator and the denominator. So we'll give uh, we'll get dy over dx equals 4x cubed y squared plus 2xy all over y minus 4x to the power 4 y minus 2x squared. And this is the final answer. Okay, so That's the end of the video for this uh, lesson, implicit differentiation. So in the next video, uh, we will tackle higher order derivatives. So tune in and keep calculating. Bye-bye!